Welcome in Yellow Jacket fans to another edition of Tech Talks presented by EGP Document Solutions. I am Andy Demetra and we are thrilled to be joined by the Yellow Jacket who's fresh off his victory in the 128th championship in England. Just two other Yellow Jackets have done it, including a guy by the name of Bobby Jones. And now he joins that list. He is from Georgia Tech Men's Golf, Christo Lampret. Christo, joining us from your home in Georgia, South Africa. Welcome in. How are you? Yeah, thanks for having me. I, I couldn't be better. Obviously, uh, there's nothing to complain about. I just uh, came off a win. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm um, ecstatic. You said right after you won that you can't comprehend your feelings right now. Have you had a chance to, to wrap your head around what you accomplished out in England? Yeah, it's uh, kind of starting to sink in day by day. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's pretty special. I mean, getting into three majors is, is kind of um, – Obviously, one of the biggest goals kind of I had this year is to get into a major or a big event, and I kind of did that, so it's amazing. So, yeah, by virtue of winning the amateur championship, you not only qualify for the British Open, but you also get exemptions to the U.S. Open and to the Masters. So you've got a busy next year ahead of you. But let's talk about the event itself. You, you kind of had to sneak in. You qualified 62nd just to get to match play. When did you realize, though, that despite maybe a tough first 36 holes out there, that you had a chance to get on a run? The scary thing for me is um, it kind of – I, I was hitting the golf ball extremely well in the 36 hole uh, stroke play qualifier. Uh, the putts just weren't going in. I mean, I had 31 greens out of 36, which is extremely hard to do um, in, in, in links golf. So I was really pleased with how I was playing. I, I guess it didn't show on the scoreboard, but um, snuck my way in and uh, started making some putts in the match play, obviously. And this comes on the heels of you playing in the NCAA championship with Georgia Tech, which, as we know, is an absolute grinder. I'm curious, Christo, how that experience at NCAAs may have prepared you for what you experienced last week. Yeah, I mean, uh, it was kind of funny. I, I, obviously, nationals, we had nationals. We had the match play going on. And then I was fortunate enough to play in the Palmer Cup the week after, and that was also just match play. So I kind of had a lot of match play um, I was kind of match fit ready um, for it. So, um, yeah, I was um, I guess it helped a lot. Well, this has been a, a long but very successful spring for you. All-American helped Georgia Tech do an ACC championship. Then you treated Tech fans to that terrific ride in Arizona, which culminated in NCAA runner up. I'm curious from your perspective, Krista, what made this Georgia Tech team so special in 2023? Um, I think it's just the group of guys we have. Um, we're we're a tight group, and I feel like this year was the feel the first year that I've been there that I really felt like we were a team and we were all together. Um, and obviously, being a team and and kind of having that bond um, makes you stronger. And I think that kind of led to the results we had. And we had some star players on, obviously on the team, and um, it kind of showed. Well, individually, in recent years, we've seen Andy Ogletree win the U.S. Amateur in 2019. The following year, Tyler Strafacci won the U.S. Amateur, and now here you are in 2023, Christo, winning the 128th championship. What is it about these Georgia Tech golfers where we're in some of the biggest amateur stages in the world, at least recently, you guys have seemed to thrive? Yeah, I think I think it's all it's, it's all got something to do with uh, Tech's program and what, what the golf is all about at Tech. Um, I think Coach Hepler is amazing at what he does, and, and, and I guess growing us up as human beings and as, as great golfers, too. So, um, I think that's partially or mostly thanks to him and what he does for the program. So take us through your next few weeks before you set foot in England once again for uh, the British Open. What What's uh, Crystal Lamprecht's schedule looking like? Um, obviously, a lot of planning and uh, getting getting stuff done uh, before I go in. But no, it's um, I'm actually heading over to our uh, family farm tomorrow. I'm going to hunt and, and, and be off the radar for about four or five days and not touch the clubs. So it's a little bit of relaxing and kind of letting it all sink in and spend time with family. Um, but, yeah, when we get closer to, to, to the Open, I'll definitely start focusing a lot more on the game and, and get ready for it. Tell us more about this family farm. I, I did not know that about Crystal Lamprecht. Yeah, so it's my brother-in-law's uh, farm. They, it's about two hours up north from, from where I live. And uh, so, yeah, it's just we'll, we'll be out in the wilderness. Uh, probably there isn't signal out there. Um, so, yeah, it's just a five days kind of just to – uh, zone out and kind of just enjoy nature and get out of all the noise. 
as incognito as a six foot eight championship golfer can be. And so not only that, do you qualify by virtue of winning the 128th championship for the Open uh, later this summer, but you also get exemptions for the U.S. Open and for the Masters. Not looking too far ahead, though, Crystal. What do you think about that? Yeah, I mean, it sounds really good the way you put that. Um, no, it's um, it's pretty special. I mean, playing in the Masters as an amateur, um, or playing the Masters in any in any form is is a real true accomplishment, and it's such such, such a special event. And I, I really cannot wait, seriously. And I know we cannot wait to have you back at Georgia Tech. Give us some insight into uh, your level of excitement for coming back to Georgia Tech and the team that uh, you'll presumably be leading this upcoming year. Yeah, I mean, we had such a close close run at nationals last year, and it was a, it was a tough pill to swallow, I guess. Uh, finished second, um, so yeah, I think there's a lot of things we kind of want to do better um, next year, and and kind of give coach the the trophy he deserves. And um, yeah, so we're we're ready and fired up to get get going. Well, I know Coach Chapler is deserving of a trophy, but as we saw this past week, you uh, are pretty good holding aloft a trophy of your own. He is the winner of the 128th championship. You will see him at the Open in England later this summer. Crystal Lamprecht, Georgia Tech Yellow Jacket Nation, very thrilled for you, and we can't wait to see what you do. Congratulations, and thanks for joining us here on Tech Talks, presented by EGP Document Solutions. Thank you very much, guys. Thanks for having me, and uh, yeah, go Jackets.